Hello and welcome to this new video in the Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to see how to add or modify a new column or an existing column on basis of a condition in a data frame. So let's get started. I have a notebook already. I'm just pasting the last file that we read in the last example. So just execute this. This is the same employees null.csv file. Uh, just using a null.csv file because I wanted a combination of null and values. So in the last video we saw how to replace the null values with any other value. In this video also I'll show you how to replace null values with one more uh, way of uh, method of doing it and also there is something else in this that we will learn. So let's come down. Let's say I want to add a new column in the data frame, in this data frame. Let's say here, over here. And we want to let's say categorize uh, the city on basis of uh, their names. So let's say if it is Chennai, I want to mention it as one. If it is Delhi, it should be two. London should be three, and likewise. So what we are doing here is this is some kind of like an if condition. If the value is this, then you should have an x value in the another column. If the value is another, you should have a y column or a y value in another column. So that's how we want to do it. So kind of a nested if you could say. So let's see how to do this. Firstly, let's copy the data frame. Scroll down. So here. So here, since we want to add a new column on basis of existing column, we will use the with column method. And let's say I want to name the new column as category, comma. Here, what we will do is we will define how we want to do this. So here we will use when, and then in this we will have to use call since this takes argument as column object. So I'm saying if when the column value city, and you do this three equal to. So let's say. If it is Chennai so let's not get confused with you know a lot of things that we are doing over here let's go step by step so what I'm saying is I'm adding a new column as category by the with column method which accepts two parameters or inputs one is category that is the header of the new column the second is the expression that we want so I'm saying when so when will have its own open close bracket then I'm referring to the city column by saying this way call of city by using the call function then comparing using three equal to I'll let you know the you know when to use or what is the significance of uh, double equal to and triple equal to in Scala for now let's just proceed and then saying I want to compare if this is Chennai So if the name is Chennai, then I want to display one. So I said just say comma one. Else, let's say for time being, let's only take first one example. Else, it should display zero. So for else, we will say dot otherwise. That's the syntax. And I want to display zero. Let's store this in a variable or day for a data frame called df. And we have to make sure we import a couple of things over here, like the when and call. So let's say import org dot apache dot spark dot sql dot functions dot for importing all the functions you just say dot underscore if you just want to import one you say dot call but since we want to import multiple we will write this in braces in this manner when comma call and then display the data frame let's execute this to see what result okay here we missed out the closing bracket for with column so here we have let's sort this data now you can see for Chennai we have one for else for other cities we have zero let's go one step further and add one more condition let's say I want to also add for London so what will you do so all you got to do is copy this with block as it is after the dot paste it and at the end do dot for otherwise and here we can just change the name of the city as London mention this as 2 
let's change the data frame name now we don't need the import since we already imported in in the above cell and execute this so here we have the data let's scroll down to watch the output so here you see for Chennai we have 1 for London we have 2 and else we will have 0 so similarly you could add more conditions by doing dot when in the same manner now another thing that we want to also do is I uh, just want to show you we can also use when to replace the null values we have seen a couple of methods in the last video so let me show you one more way of replacing nulls so let's say val null df is equal to so since we want to modify an existing column I am just saying with column id comma when now I say call of id and I want to see if this is null so just a dot is and if you want to see the help do control uh, space and at the end you will have two options or two methods is uh, is null or is not null so we want to say is null so if this is null then I want to display some value otherwise I would just want to keep the existing value so if it is null I want to display 0 for example what will happen if in case of not writing the otherwise section over here let's see display null df and execute this so here the nulls do get replaced by 0 in the 2nd, 5th and the 8th row however the values which were not null they got instead replaced as null so what do we do is for this you need to make sure you add that otherwise section otherwise what we want to do is we want to keep the value as it is so to keep the value as it is we just say call of id that's it so now we have the values correct and all the nulls are replaced with zero so this is the third way how you could do apart from couple of ways or two ways that we have seen the in the last video so this is about all uh, when wherein we are doing conditionally uh, adding a column on basis of a value we'll have more scenarios uh, in this for the future but for now just to explain you the concept to get started this will help you so that's it in this video thanks for watching and stay tuned